Hi, everyone. Today I'm speaking to Tamu McPherson, an influential fashion blogger. She's the founder of All the Pretty Birds um, that she founded in 2008. It's playful and fun and inspiring, and she has the sickest sense of style. Tamu, hi. Hi. Got we saw each other this summer and we were talking about how you live in Milan and I often go to Milan. So you're born in Jamaica, Tamu. I lived in Jamaica for six years before moving to Nyack, New York. What brought you to being a lawyer or to wanting to study law? I studied literature and rhetoric in undergrad. And then I was like, mom, I want to do a PhD in literature. And she was like, nope, it's time to earn some money. You have to go to law school. And that's how I ended up going ultimately. I went to Fordham. I went to Fordham right in the city, wow. yeah, across from Lincoln Center. And it was amazing because, you know, once in a while when we'd have time, we would go to the opera, we'd go to the ballet. The campus is across the street. So it was just a walk across the street. It was just like a really, it's the end of the 90s, early aughts. So it was amazing. It was an amazing time. Uh, did your husband also study law? Yeah, well, we met one night right outside of school. And the funny thing, I got out of a taxi and my husband got out of the taxi behind me and we just met right there on the street. And then you started taking pictures, like fashion pictures on the street in Milan, yeah. like street fashion. And moving to Milan and uh, being here in the city and the internet and the explosion of the internet and digital content is really what got me to where I needed to be. And so you started this like incredibly successful fashion blog all all the all pretty, pretty birds yeah i love that name too it's so sweet because it also makes me think of individual style and mm -hmm. being free and being celebrated that's exact all, all the pretty every that's single really bird. Yeah. Really beautiful name you also have um your shoe up for justice so i started shoe up for justice because i thought i wanted to participate in politics in the best way i knew how i did some research with a friend who participates in politics in new york and at first i thought i would um, um, donate to education because I do feel education is really at the heart of a society and how we can bring about change in communities. Um, and then I also thought about prison reform, but my friend told me before you even get there, voting is important. Like, you, you know, to gain control of your voice and to have a say in your community and what you're doing, it starts with your vote. And so I was like, okay, I will, I will donate the proceeds of my shoe archive to, to, you know, a voting organization. Whoa. <laughs> yes. What so, are you wearing right now? I have these Balenciaga. Um, oh, of course like, you do. Look at how cheerful those are. I can't wait to see you in Westman. Oh yeah, I love, I love the feeling. Basically, we should start with some foundation, right? So start with the 10, the lighter okay. shade, and okay. you take your foundation brush, okay. dab it on, and then you wanna go gently under your eye area. Remember, I discovered the brand when I walked into the store in Rome. This is actually the shade that was recommended for me walking in as a black woman in the store in Rome and getting my color spot on. That's a lot. That says a lot. A lot of other women of color here in Italy who don't find that. And here I am, I walk into a specialty store and I find a color that I live by, you know? That's really nice to hear. That makes me so happy. So where do I go next? So you can start adding in the slightly deeper shade to kind of tie the two together. And then also another trick you can do is you can bring your cheek color up a little higher because you don't have dark circles Oh, yes, I do. No, you don't. I do. This light is great because let me tell you, that's the one thing I have to say I feel the most self-conscious about. I feel like I have dark circles. This is great. So this one is truffle. Ooh, truffle. Truffle is this one here, but yeah, I use so biscuit, careful. which is the slightly lighter shade. And I like to kind of give myself definition where needed. And like you said, you didn't like the feeling flat. So this is a really easy texture to use. Really blendable, super easy. Ooh. It's like a nice creamy powdery texture. Do a little line on either side and kind of blend it. 
Okay. Take a little bit of pop it. And okay. Put it. Ooh. On. Yeah, it's not so pretty. Good. And you just find your apple of your cheek. You can also carry it a tiny bit higher up if you want. Ooh, this is pretty. Oh, I love pink so much. Oh my god. It like blends right in, like melts right in. Is that the word yeah, that you yeah. use to describe this? While looking really luminous. I, I love pink, all shades of pink, um, from baby pink to, to fuchsia. Um, I'm, I'm just a pink girl. I don't know, like pink, I just feel like is a really powerful hue. It's super joyful. I have the iPods. It's Rendezvous, okay. yeah. Oh, nice, okay, perfect. Let's use frappe and bon chance. You're gonna start with the brownish frappe. You're gonna kind of just go over your, your lid to about your socket. So pretty. Yeah, so then you can add the Bon Chance a little bit as a accent shade. So you can do, you have nice size eyelids, so you can do the middle of your lid or, oh. and I'm just gonna add in a little bit of Bizu. Okay, so then you wanna take your mascara. You look so pretty. Okay, let's go with, get our Okay. Record. I just mushed them all together. Okay. This is great because I love a blush kind of color anyway, like a, a, you know, a nudie kind of like natural pink. So there we have like that kind of look and we were thinking it would be fun to finish off with a color from the Rouge, from okay. Le Rouge. Why don't you just start with the tomato and see if you have even okay. want more? Oh, yes. That's so pretty on you. Have you been inspired by the Italian kind of how everyone is always super put together. I had to work on that. Like if you come from New York, like I didn't have a proper coat to go anywhere. Like no. I had to go to the opera with my parka. It was completely fine for me to express uh, my New York mashup style the way I did, but there was definitely a strong desire to feel well pulled together wherever I went. I love, I love, I love the shade. It's super pretty on you. Wow. I love it. I love it. Thank you, Tamu. This has been so nice. And I was so, we were so excited that you wanted to do this with us. You're such a, an inspiration. All right, everybody, you have to make sure and immediately go and check out Tamu's alltheprettybirds.com. And also, um, don't forget, so Tamu's uh, reels are super addictive. It's uh, Tamu McPherson is, is your Instagram handle, right? Enjoy. Bye, you too. Bye. Bye.